welcome back. It's, um, it's all about the ears. Wow, Rita, you look different than you usually do. You look cute. Are you saying I normally don't look cute? N no that's not what I meant. Well, it's not like I care anyway. Hey, Yuri, you think she looks cute, right? Don't you? Huh? Yeah. I like those cat ears, I guess. Just the ears? Oh, come on, Yuri, why are you being so shy? Your face is turning red. The ears are the problem. What's that supposed to mean? Ah, yes, we gave her the um, cat costume, didn't we? So that's going to have a little effect on him, I suppose. Oh, I just had to make a proper cut then because of like massive coughing fit. Just You know when you get like something caught at the back of your throat? That. But anyway, we're, we're here at Aspio, but on the way I got I got another skit, so perfect for the old man. Wow, that looks surprisingly good on you, old man. I'm surprised you're surprised. Of course it looks great. Yeah, that sort of messy look suits you pretty well. Well, I didn't expect a naive young lady like yourself to understand an adult's subtle grace. Why would I want to understand that? So that's an adult subtle grace, huh? Hmm? I feel like it's boosting your natural sketchiness more and more. Oh, that I understand. No, no, no. No, 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 no. I do like it. It's just little things based around the um, costumes that we got on. Anyway, Aspio, that's where we needed to go. It's been another long day. Let's save the manhunt for tomorrow. Do we have to? And why do you have a red pen? I, of all the colors you could have, you went with red. Uh, I second that. Oh, how long's it been since I've slept in a proper bed? Bad day. Well, I suppose we can all stay at my place. Wait, there's something I want to take care of first. You mean me? You are going to die. Carol. Execution. This is a guild thing. Best for us not to get involved. I've thought about it a lot. What we should do, like, as a guild. And I realized, we have to figure out a few things if we're going to keep this guild going. It sounds like you've decided what we should do. Well, we said it before. The most important thing is obeying the guild's laws. Those who break the laws suffer strict punishment, even if they're friends or family. They say that's the source of a guild's pride. Yes. So what I'm thinking is, we all have to receive punishment. What do you mean? I didn't know that Judith was fighting for our planet all on her own. But even though I didn't know, I still failed to help a fellow guild member. So I gotta accept my punishment. Yuri? Me? Maybe you were trying to follow your own path, but you still kept things hidden from us. There's no way that can be for the good of the guild. Well... well Ca Carol's a very good leader right now. So you gotta be punished too. Now he's stretching it. No, no, this makes sense. The laws are important. What if someone does the right thing, but still breaks the law? Should they be punished? To be honest, I just don't know yet. So that's why we should all just accept our punishment and start over from scratch. What do you think? I can't promise I won't have my secrets in the future. Well, if that's the way it is, if you can't trust us, then there's nothing you can do. That would be my fault. And what if I destroy a Blastia that our guild was planning on using again? That would be breaking the law that says I should act in the interest of the guild. But you'd also be acting for the sake of the world. Guilds aren't there just so people can obey their laws. I think we can let that slide. Um, doesn't that sort of make your laws meaningless? No, you just have a clause, basically, in the laws that basically says, like, all right, you need to provide a very good reason, and then we will basically take it to a committee of some sort, judge it, and basically take in the information, be like, right, was there grounds there to break the rules? Or should we maybe change the rules slightly, up upgrade them. It, it would make sense. You know what they should do? Like, they should form a government of some sort that would, would, would like, in future, have, like, this constitution, and that every hundred years or so, they rewrite the constitution? I mean, that would be a good idea. If only another country would do that, 
like it was intended. Anyway. <laughs> I've never heard of a guild like this before. That's literally what was intended at the start, by the way. Yes. But you've got me interested. I'll give you that much. There's no need to be such a stickler for the rules. Gotta be more relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> well, Carol, you're just full of surprises. I had thought plenty about myself and what I should be doing, but I might not have considered how my actions would affect you guys. This is a way of settling things I didn't even realize existed. I... I just wanted to keep traveling with all of you. I just wanted each of our own paths to be the same as Brave Asperia's. <laughs> Sounds alright with me. Yeah, it makes sense. It's like, update the rules when it becomes irrelevant. It's like, that's not a problem. Change it, adjust it, rewrite the whole thing if you have to. Just so it, like, fits with how everyone feels. Otherwise, you're stuck too much in the past, and that can cause issues because people in the past don't understand what's happening in the present. How could they? You heard the man, Judy. I guess that's where we stand. You really are some of the oddest people I've ever met. But I suppose I can manage to put up with you. All right, then. One more time. Brave Vesperia, fall out! They're just making it up as they go, aren't they? Is that all a guild is? <laughs> the Don ran his guild just a teensy bit differently. But not massively differently. There's something beautiful about this way, though. Brave Vesperia sure is nice. Do you want to join too, Patty? Can't right now. Why not? Oh, yeah. You still have to get your memory back. Yeah, but that can be a part of what the guild does. So, what about the punishment? Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. Um... Looks like you guys are on Critian Researcher Detail. We'll be relaxing at my place. I mean, that seems fair. Hey, why do you get to decide? Excuse me? Did I hear a complaint? Yes. <laughs> no, ma'am. No. Uh-uh. Parted with everyone. Reconciling with Judith. Carol, were you thinking by yourself this whole time about what to do with Judy? Yeah, it was pretty much all I thought about after we left Nordopolica. That... And about what you did to Rago and Kumor. Really? It's nice to hear you thought about me that much, even when I wasn't around. Yeah, I wasn't sure at first what was right, what was wrong. I think I have the Dawn to thank for setting me straight. Without the Dawn's last words, I never would have found answers to the questions I had. You gotta stand on your own two feet. Yeah, I was thinking about what that meant. And before I knew it, I wasn't thinking about what was right. I was thinking about what I want to do. And that helped you decide what to do with the guild. Yeah. So here's to fresh starts. Yeah. To fresh starts. To fresh tarts. What? What does that mean? I don't know. Jam tarts. I do love a good jam tart. Ooh. I could do with some right now, but no. Trying to be on a diet here. Try trying to not have too many calories and etc, etc, etc. Yeah. Actually got some, um dumbbells as well. I need to get my upper body strength back. It's, it's kind of disappointing. Like it did used to be, like, kind of well built, let's put it like that, but yeah, these days, no, no, no. I heard Christians are as serious people. Do you think they'll tell us? No. I'd help, but I don't want to get in any trouble. That's probably wise. Take your time so I can get some rest. Alright, jeez. Up we go! Yes, there's an up. Can't sleep in the bed? Oh. Did you find it? Not yet? Oh, what are you waiting for? Alright, jeez, I'm just checking to see if there's anything I can steal. Alright. Jeez. Is her, like, stairs over there just books? Looks it. Very strange. I'd like a lap like this. That would be cool. If YouTube ever gets to the point where it's like, I'm earning so much money, I'm going to build like a lab with like test tubes and alchemy stuff. It just, just because, I mean, why not? It'd be fun, wouldn't it? It's locked. It must be a top secret facility. The keyhole has a unique shape. Oh, right. We need the library bit then. 
Anyway, I mean, could you just say go to the library bit rather than just AR? Yeah. Doom -doom. All right, where to begin? That's the question. I'm gonna guess that big book. Oh, Judith's idea. <laughs> that wasn't bad, Carol. I have to say, I really didn't expect to hear that again. Come to think of it, Judy doesn't ask about that at all. Oh, should I? Would it be a problem? Well, even if you don't ask, the answer is still clear to you. I'm not sure about that. Even so, you're still you and I'm still me. If our paths are the same, I'll travel with you. If I didn't think they were, I wouldn't be here. So everything is clear to you, see? I'm pretty sure what I'm thinking is clear to you as well. Is it something like, people who choose the same path think alike? What? I doubt it. What? What? Lounge bookshelf. Where's the research? Where's, where's the research? Dude. But day do you want? No, I don't want to know about the No, no. You know, all of the blast you were, uh, we evacuate here, were physically buried by creature hands. What do you think it means? Nothing. Probably. Would you like a rest? N no. I'm not going to rest on the bookshelf. It would be weird. Your body blastia has an interesting color. You must use your body blastia quite a bit since it has grown so much. Yeah, but where, where, where do we find the information? The operating rate of our Blastia has been very high lately. Air control is going well and research is proceeding smoothly. Good, I suppose. Maybe this Christian can help. You're searching for me, Arzo? You have voice acting. I think you are the person we need to speak to. That's the name of the city that they talk about in the Critian legends. That's all I know. Location? I don't know where it is. In the sky! And even if I knew, I don't think it will be of any good to tell it to someone other than a Critian. Critian? The sky above Zaphius is looking unusual, they say. Maybe something happened with them um, Barry and Blastia. The Blastia thief was caught, right? And Morio's gone. Now it's all down to the research results. <laughs> okay. Alright, the Let's see about this person up here. You seem mysterious. You guys have something nice. It's a S P E C I A L. Like something special will happen to you if you use it. Oh. All right then. This dude's the only one with voice acting though, so. You're searching for me. Yes. It's the name of the yes. city location. Yes. And even if I yes. Knew. Fine. That's gotta be it, right? I mean, what else can we do at that point? We spoke to everyone, we checked everywhere there could be books. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Let's go speak to Rita. Maybe she can help us. There's gotta be someone else we've got to speak to. No, we didn't find it yet. Okay. This is the thing, it's like, wait, wait, wait. Do I have to speak to that guy first, then go to the library? Maybe. I can feel another cough coming on. It's, like it's just got this scratchy... I, it may have been the first cough that's giving me this scratchy feeling in the back of my throat now, which is not good. Not good at all. It's like, hmm, I'm just trying to hold the cough off. I don't want to make another cut. It's quite annoying. I'm going to have to make another cut. I'm going to have to. Right, okay, yeah, I remembered. I have to speak to him as a Christian. He did say, he did give me that hint, but dear God, my throat. Good day. Good day, my sister. Judith. I'm Tort. You wouldn't happen to know anything about Miorzo, would you? I'd like to go there. I need to know where Miorzo is located and how I can get there. Even if you reach the city, there won't be anything for you to see there. But what do you plan on doing there, anyway? You know, have a little holiday. Just relax. Is not a Critian's interest in her own ancestral city reason enough to go? That is an acceptable reason. But I'm afraid I don't know anything about where it could be. Oh, you're useless to us, then. I've heard your name before, Tort. You help guide those Critians remaining on Earth up to the heavens. 
Will you not tell me because these humans are with me? Our ancient law states that we cannot show anyone but our brothers and sisters the way to Miorzo. Shouldn't it be a matter of whether they can be trusted rather than whether they're Critian or not? At the very least, these humans can be trusted. I shall ask once more. Why do you seek Miorzo? The fate of the world is at stake. I think you understand. The world is headed towards some bad things, all thanks to Blastia. We want to go to know what happened in the past and how we can stop it. We want to help everyone, not just the Critians. How's that? Very well. I do not know if you'll find the answers to your questions, but I will show you the way. First of all, you'll need a special bell to open the path to Miorzo. A bell? A bell, you say? Yes, indeed. Indeed. It is hidden in one of the southern caverns on the continent of Hippionia. But isn't Hippionia really big? The cavern is on a shore where red flowers bloom. If you use that as your guide, I'm sure you shall find it. Doubt it. Also, the door in the back of that cavern can only be opened by us Critians. What do you mean? Don't worry, I'll see that we're allowed to enter. And? What are we supposed to do with that bell? Ring it. Relax. You humans are always so impatient. You're so... What's the word? Terse, maybe? Once you have the bell, you must travel to Egathor Forest. The Egathor Forest? Isn't that on Hippionia too? I've heard of it before. Yes, the sacred land of the Critians is located there. So that's where the door to Miorzo is. If you use the bell there, the door shall open. There is, however, a problem. What now? A problem? Yes. Egathor Forest is being devastated by a mysterious group. In addition to their overwhelming numbers, they also carry with them strange Blastia. I cannot fathom their motives, but this is certainly a matter of great concern. So if we go to Miorzo, we have to do something about them? Exactly. We need you to restore peace to our sacred land. Gotcha. So we get that bell, beat the mysterious group senseless, ring the bell, and the door opens. That sound right? Indeed. I understand. Thank you. May the road rise up to meet you, sister. Ugh, that's a terrible phrase. And you as well. Let's go back to where everyone's waiting. Yeah, like, you need to work on that. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. That's just... That's a terrible, terrible phrase. It's, it's absolutely like, good day to you! Safe travels, be well, you know, just weird things. Did you find out anything? Maybe. We've got a lead in a place called Egathor Forest. I'm pretty sure it's on the west side of Hippionia, to the south of here. So, Miorzo's in that forest? No, but a door is. Huh? A door? What do you mean? There's a door there that leads to Miorzo. We were told the bell that opens the door is hidden in a cavern on a shore in Hippionia, where red flowers bloom. It'd be fastest to just go and check it out. First, let me rest. Nope, we're off. Perhaps we should get some rest before leaving? No, leave. Let's go. Why? We can rest on the boat. Baul thing. But... <sighs> we don't really have a choice. <laughs> All right. Then I'm going to walk around town and search for clues about the treasure. Hey, hold it. You should really... Jeez, she's gone already. Anyway, once we've gotten some rest, let's go look for that cavern in Hippionia. Reunited with a stellar return and raven. Is it based on location, maybe? Hmm. Oh, is that it? Alright then. Oh, this group setup's terrible. Oh, we gotta go find Patty again. Right, where's Patty? She's gotta be around somewhere. There she is. So, Patty, did you find any clues about the Maristella? Hmm, there were a lot of books, but none of them were about Eifried. Well, duh. This city only has books about Blastia. Yeah, it's probably going to be connected. Oh, 
well. Looks like I'm just gonna have to keep searching for clues with you guys. Did you just say I freed? Oh my. Huh? Hey, you. You that girl they've been saying is I freed's grandchild? Hmm. So, you neither admit nor deny it. And I guess it must be true. Interesting. So you're the grandchild of that bastard who disgraced the guilds. <laughs> you just look like a regular brat to me. Oh, I hate this guy so much. Hmm. Why don't you say something? Can't even defend your own grandfather? Oh yeah, I guess that's something no one could ever defend, huh? Considering all the nasty stuff he did. How can you say such horrible things? How? Well, because it's the truth. Hey, wait! You guys must be Sirens Fang's newest guild members, right? Who? What's what? W we're Brave Vesperia! Brave Vesperia? What a funny name. What kind of a guild is that? W well, it's, uh... You see... Why, you gonna give us some good jobs if we tell you? I don't have any jobs to give shady thugs involved with Ifreed like you guys. Brave Vesperia, huh? It's good for nothing trash like you who've been tarnishing what it means to be a guild. How? You're the good for nothing trash who's been tarnishing the name of the city. Y you. You're Rita Mortio? Oh, he he's soon changing his tune, isn't he? Looks like there's a lot more vulgar pieces of trash than the last time I was here. Geez, it'll be a real nuisance if anyone thinks I'm associated with you. Let's get out of here. Wait! Oh? Was there something else you wanted to say? Yeah, he's gonna be in trouble. N no Hmm. But what are we gonna do? I'm pretty sure that guy's gonna spread rumors. I don't care. If that's the kind of thing that could destroy our guild, we would have been finished a long time ago. Yeah, we should just let people say what they're going to say. I... Wasn't our destination ashore in Hippionia where red flowers bloom? Ah, yeah. Then let's get going. Mm. Aw, poor Patty. Patty joined the party. Let's put Patty back in number one. Yuri back in. I don't like how he's messed up the group massively. Like, ah, come on. There we go. Much better, much better. Right. It's just running around as Patty. Like, look at, look at how crazy she is. Like, why is going over her arms and legs? It's just... Just so bizarre. So bizarre. I love it, though. Strangely. You may have noticed. Okay, so let's get out of here. So we're looking for a continent. Well, it's hard to even see. Like, it's, we're looking for a continent, and then that uh, continent has red stuff on it. I think I might make a cut. I think that's probably best, isn't it? Because it's like, I'm going to be wandering around all over the place if I can't find it. Well, I did some checking online. Apparently, no, 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 th this is Hyponia. Down here. It's just I need to find the right location. Like, this is Hyponia. And also, apparently, like, this wasn't in the... Aha! There it is! like right there. Alright, we got in the boat. We can see exactly where we need to go. It's like, yeah, this this wasn't on the 360 version. It's like, you just went straight to the forest. Simple as that. But PS3 version, which is now this version. Now we've got this. There we go. This is it, right? It matches the description Tort gave us, but... A shore in Hippionia where red flowers bloom, right? Maybe Tort tricked you guys. Either that or we came to the wrong place. Wait. I can feel a draft coming from in there. The inside must be hollow. Out of the way! It's open! What kind of a nasty person does something like that? Like what? Perhaps they sealed it up to keep fishy people like you from getting in. I was like, why are they nasty people? That's the thing that's just so strange. It's like, but it could have been a rock that just fell in front. Whoa, you're really gunning for old Raven? 
Sometimes you can be so mean, Judith. Uh, what's wrong, Patty? It's nothing. I was just a little scared of the dark. You're scared of the dark? <laughs> you really are a kid. Look who's talking. <laughs> Look who's talking. Creepy. If you're scared, you can wait here. I'm fine. I'll go with you guys. Alright then, it's very, very strange. Like, yeah, this will all be new stuff to me. And what else in this game has been new stuff in terms of areas? Because it was according, according to the forum post. This is, yep, just new stuff. It's like, I, I've never been here before. So it's like, of course it was hard for me to find. Ooh. Very, very mysterious. Very open. Which is kind of strange for the dungeons in this game. Doesn't appear to be any enemies either. We're going up, up here because there's definitely a chest and we're having that. Why is there no enemies here? Oh, Alright, we got a circlet. Patty looks so out of place in this location. Looks like an alien visitor from another planet. Ooh. It's all the graves. Huh? What is that? What are all these stones doing in a place like this? It's so creepy. Oh, this is so connected to Patty. Wait, these aren't graves, are they? Maybe we really did come to the wrong place. But even if that's the case, why are there so many here? Why? I can't believe how many there are. I never imagined we'd find a place like this while we were searching for the home of the Critia. There's something written over there. Eifried's grave. Here lie the victims of the Black Hope Massacre. We mourn their deaths, and in this place lay their souls to rest. These are all victims of the Black Hope Massacre! Well, yeah. Then these are the graves of people who were killed by Eifried? Yes. I had no idea there could be so many. Patty! I... I... I never thought... Patty... No matter how you look at it, this is just too much. You can't expect a child to accept such a cold reality at her age. Hmm. I wonder who built these graves. Who knows, maybe there were some survivors of the massacre. But... this is so horrible. I'm going to look for the key to Miorzo. You all should stay here. What? You're going by yourself? We can't bring Patty along when she's like this, can we? There aren't any signs of monsters here. We should go too. Repeat, take good care of Patty, okay? <laughs> Part with Patty and repeat. Oh no, poor Patty! No! Oh no. Woo. Yes, woo indeed. Guess we'll run around as Rita. I don't want to be Rita though, we'll go on to Yuri there. Oh, so, wrong way round, boom, there we go. That's what I want to do. Question is that, which way do we go for the actual I Ah, there we go, that explains that. Marine suit. So that would explain why this place is not existent on the 360 version. Oh. Looks like a dead end. Maybe the old man was right, and we really did come to the wrong place. But there weren't any other shores with red flowers, were there? Do you mind if I take a look at that? Illusion be undone. It is I of the chosen people whom you have anxiously awaited. A door? Speak friend and enter. What? What did you do? The Critians possess an ancient power known as the Nagig that can read the information in objects. 
I used that power to learn the secret phrase that would remove the enchantment that hid this door. I see. So this is what Tort meant when he said the door could only be opened by a Critian. Now, let's go inside. I suppose... Oh, it's very mysterious, isn't it? And that's clearly a bell. Could this be the key for the door to Miorzo? Yes, we were told it's a bell, so this has to be it. Guide bell to Miorzo. Still, why is there a graveyard in the cave where the bell was hidden? It's just a coincidence. Maybe. I bet the person who built that graveyard didn't know the bell was hidden here. I guess that's to be expected with the door being invisible. Maybe the person who closed the entrance to this cave was the one who built the graveyard. What for? Who knows? Maybe to prevent grave robbing. Or maybe there was some other reason they had to hide this place. It is true that Tort never said anything about the cave entrance. You might be right. So someone went to all the trouble of burying those people in such a remote location? Is that really all it is? I don't know, but we've got the bell we came for, so let's go back and see Patty. Yuri, did Eifried really kill all those people? I, I honestly don't feel that's going to be the case. Maybe he did. Patty. That's the truth she was after. Yes, but she wasn't at all prepared for it. Right, let's hurry back. It's like, I, I don't feel that's going to be the answer. I'm going to be like, there's something else going on. Like he's taking the fall for someone or something like that. Or it's like one of those things where it's like, he takes the blame of his crew and it's his crew who did it or something. That type of situation. A bit like what happened with the Don. But I freed instead. Thank you, Rapide. We got what we came for. Can you stand up, Patty? We're going. Are you... going already? Are you okay? I'm fine. Don't push yourself, okay? Cypher. What? From Final Fantasy VIII. Can you come with us? Could she be... What? R reunite with Patty and repeat. I already did. What? I mean, could she- what? What's going on? What? What did you figure out? What's happening? Huh? Hmm. See, the Patty stuff interests me. Because I don't know where that story goes. But all the, the rest of Vesperia? Yeah, I know what's coming. But Patty's story? No idea. So it's like, ooh. Alright then. Um, but anyway. What we're going to be doing that would be the correct word, is ending this part here, and in the next part we'll head off and use the bell, I suppose. All we've got left to do is to ring the bell we just got in Agathor Forest. I pretty much just said that. I agree. Yuri, I need to talk to you. Oh, oh, there's more, all right. What is it? I'd like to say goodbye to all of you now. No! It's time for us to part ways. No, it isn't. You sure? Why so sudden? You don't like traveling with us anymore? Why do you hate us? No, that's not it. Then stay. If you feel uncomfortable around us because of what you learned about Eifried, then... Just don't want to cause you guys any more trouble. No, no, no. Even if you don't mind? Well, I do. Patty... What kind of nonsense is that? Rita? Every single one of these guys causes nothing but trouble. Do you really think you're any more of a troublemaker than the rest of us? Rita. If it's really just so you can focus on what you need to do, then I won't try to stop you. Hi. It'll be lonely around here without you. We've come this far together. There's no need to hold back. We crossed the desert and fought so many battles together. Besides... You don't need to give an answer here and now, do you? Plus, if you leave us now, we won't be able to pilot the ship and we'll be in real trouble. Why? Just think about it after your emotions have calmed down. You can pick what you want to do then. 
Until that time, though, why don't you come with us? Okay. All right. It's off to Agathor Forest. We just gotta get rid of those suspicious guys and ring the bell, right? Yes. Patty earned the troubled girl title. Oh, poor Patty. Right, so now we'll end this part. In the next part, we'll see with seeking consultation, and then we'll head over to that place over there, because it's the only place I can think of. That place we've been to previous. It was locked. Yeah. Alright, we'll see you then. Ta-ta for now.